Hello everyone, this is Cows of War here with another Wi-Fi battle. This battle is against Nico, and he leads off with a Moltres while I lead off with the Metagross. I know an overheat's coming, so I'm just going to switch into Milonic before um, trying to set up Stealth Rocks or anything. And most Moltreses that I see are usually choice in some way, so now I know he's going to switch out, so I decided to switch back in the Metagross this turn. And... Now he hits me with a, a grass whistle, and that was like kind of unexpected because I usually don't see grass whistle because of the low accuracy. But luckily, I have a lumber, so I'm able to set up stealth rocks. So I go into Milotic because I know he's going to try to put me, put, uh, put me back to sleep. And Milotic is, um, has marble scale, of course, so it likes being asleep. So now I go and I'm switching into um, Salamence because I know he's going to try to seed flare me. And Salamence would take it the best. Which is like four times resistance to do like nothing to it. So he goes into the trio, and of course my fire blast misses. So now I go into um, Magnezone because I know he's going to Stone Edge, and it would resist it with a Steel type. So I go with a Flash Cannon, and I was hoping it wasn't like um, outspeed me somehow, even though it's a Scarf Magnezone. But I know the trio can go pretty fast, and I don't think this guy has any speed at all. I don't know it might. But anyway, somehow he lives my flash cannon and kills me with an earthquake, which totally sucked. But he kills himself with life orb, so it's about equal, I guess. So I decided to um, send in um, Salamence because Salamence is pretty fast and it's such a beast with specs. And he brings in a freaking um, Azumaro, so I go for the Draco Meteor, hoping it would kill because I know that thing has like over 400 hit points and stuff. And somehow I do kill it off with a Draco Meteor with no crit or anything, so I was pretty amazed by that. And then he brings the Claydol, and I'm thinking he's going to rapid spin, so I decided to go into Bloom to, like, try to put it to sleep or something before he rapid spins, but somehow he decides to light screen first. So I'm able to put it to sleep, and he can't rapid spin. And now I go for a Focus Punch, and he actually switches into Moltres. So Moltres eats a Focus Punch, and even if it didn't kill, I would be able to kill it next turn because this guy runs Mock Punch, and there we go, hit the Moltres with a Mock Punch, and it's taken down. So now he brings in a Jirachi, and I'm thinking what it might do, and I decide to go into um, Gliscor because most Jirachis nowadays are physical, but the thing, hey, actually has uh, ice Punch, which kind of sucks because it's a two-hit KO on the Glitz score, and I didn't really want to switch in anything else. So I just let the thing in to die, so I can bring a safe switch in, and actually bring in a Metagross. So now he hits me with a Fire Punch, so it's obviously not um, choiced because I know a lot of Drachis are are banded or scarfed. So I get an Earthquake off, and Fire Punch did okay amount I guess. It didn't do really a lot, but it still it didn't do that not that much. So after two fire punches I'm down to one hundred and one hit points and I'm able to finish it off with an earthquake. So now he brings in a shaman and I'm hoping it doesn't have hidden power like fire or ground or something. Cause I'm gonna go and explode on it. And he hits me with a seed flare and I survive with like twenty four hit points and explode in the shaman's face. So that shaman is dead which is nice because it would have probably fucked me over because it probably got like a two hit KO on my melodic which is my special wall and just like eat everything else on my team so um we're gonna Breloom now and he brings in the clay doll and it's just a seed bomb two hit KO so um good game Nico it was a um, pretty fun battle um please rate, comment, and subscribe guys and I'll see you next time